Hi everyone, I am back with a new video and this is going to be a tutorial on how I draw the fashion figure using the nine heads technique which I learned from the book Nine Heads by Nancy Reichelman. So a link to where you can find that book and other resources are listed in the description box so feel free to check them out. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep it super simple and I'm not going to explain too much about the basis of the technique because that can be kind of confusing, especially if you're watching this and you just want to get started with drawing the fashion figure. This tutorial is basically going to be me showing you how I do it and you are free to copy it step by step in order to learn this method. And in a follow-up video, I will talk more about the nine heads technique and why it's used in drawing human body proportions as well as how you can use the technique to take off from here and draw different body types to suit your style and the characters you want to draw. With drawing the fashion figure, the nine heads technique is just one of the many ways to learn the proportions. There are also the 10 heads and the 12 heads technique, but the nine heads technique creates a more realistic figure. So as you can see on the piece of paper here, I have drawn 10 horizontal lines down on the page and between each line is an inch and I've also labeled each line with the corresponding number like line one, line two, to make it easier which line I am talking about. Then the space between each line, for example, between line one and line two, represents the size of a human head. In this video, because each line is spaced one inch apart, the head size of my figure is also going to be one inch. And I've also labeled each space as the corresponding head number, for example, head one, head two, head three, and so on. And I've also drawn an oval in the space to represent the head shape. And this just gives us an idea of why it's called nine heads technique, because it's nine heads stacked vertically, which will then help us identify the placement of each body part. Also, please note that you do not have to draw every single head. You can do this for your first time, but all we really need to do is draw the 10 lines spaced evenly apart because that will save us time for our guidelines. So now onto the measurements. Between line one and line two is of course the head. So I'm drawing an oval shape. Then a third from the top of head two is the neck. So I'm just drawing two lines down. Then half of head two is for the shoulders and there are no set measurements for the length of the shoulder line. It can be as narrow or as broad as you want, and I will explain more of this in the follow-up video. For now, I'm drawing the line to be roughly wider than the head. Then the top of head three is the apex or the center of this person's boobs. So I'm just drawing two circles. And starting with geometric shapes like this can make it easier to visualize the body, especially when you're just starting out. Next, the top of head four is where the waistline will be. And because we tend to see small waists in high fashion models, this line is usually drawn much shorter than the shoulder line. But again, it can be as wide or as narrow as you want. Then a third of head four is for the high hip line. And as you see me do before, I am connecting the previous line to this new line and it creates a trapezium shape since the ideal hips are wider than the waist. Then the top of head five is where the crotch is. So I'm just drawing a triangle from the hip line to this point. All the way down to the top of head seven is where the knees are. And I'm just drawing circles that are fairly far apart because the pose of this drawing is that she is standing with feet slightly apart. The circles also represent the joints. 
and down to the top of head 9 are for the ankles slash heels. And because this is a fashion figure, models usually wear heels, therefore the entire feet would occupy head 9. And we're almost done. Now it's just time to add in the arms. So I drew two circles where the shoulders are, just at the edge of the shoulder line. And I will connect that to the top of head 4 where the waistline is because it is also the line for the elbows. And once again, I am drawing circles for the joints and connecting those back to the shoulders. And the top of head 5, which is where the crotch is, that guideline is also for the wrists. Then finally, roughly the size of head 5, I say about two-thirds of head 5 is where the hands are going to be. Now, you can draw the hands as large as head 5, but I wouldn't draw it any smaller than two-thirds of head 5. And that is basically it. To be honest, we don't really need exact measurements to draw the human figure. Or the fashion figure and I will further explain this in the follow-up video unfortunately explaining it can make this complicated that's why I left it out so before that video comes out feel free to check out the resources listed below also keep in mind that these are guides only guidelines are definitely just guides and not rules this technique is useful for anyone wanting to learn the basic human proportions in a step-by-step -step manner. And I would highly recommend practicing this along with reference photos and real-life model studies to help you gain a better understanding of human anatomy. And while there are guidelines to help with drawing what is considered the ideal body proportions, this should not be where your learning ends. Once again, feel free to utilize the tools and resources I have listed in the description box, and if you have other resources that you would like to recommend to me and other people watching this video, comment them down below or tweet me at Zara Banyas, and I will add them to the list. And that is it! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Simply liking this video greatly supports this channel and my videos, so I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, you can reach me through my social media, which are linked in the description box. I've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. I also have Society6, where you can purchase art merchandise and fine art prints of my artworks. And lastly, I have Store Envy, where I sell my original artworks. You can email me for a payment plan if you are interested in purchasing any original art from me. My email and all my links are listed in the description box. Feel free to share this video as well, it lets people find find this channel and this video a lot easier. That is it for my shameless plug. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.